Well, it's 10 a.m. beautiful people and uh, I'm showered and dressed and ready to go to the country and visit my auntie. So this is Dalesford. We are stopping here to get a coffee and then we'll go to my auntie's, which is about another five kilometers from here in Hepburn Springs. With the discovery of gold in the middle of the 1800s, this region of Victoria, known then as the Golden Triangle, saw massive population increases, with people from all over the world coming to try their hands at getting rich. In the 1850s, boom towns like Castlemaine and Dalesford sprang up to accommodate the needs of the many thousands of people living in tent cities. It's estimated that during that period, up to 1,000 kilograms of gold every week was being sent and stored in the bank vaults of Melbourne. Now, with their proximity to Melbourne and the abundance of beautiful Victorian architecture, the gentrification of these towns is complete. European-inspired Melbourne-style cafe society has invaded, memories of the gold rush have receded and turned into a real estate boom. Well, I finished my lunch with my auntie uh, and that was lovely. I hadn't seen her for three years and she's 82, so it was very nice to catch up. Uh, and uh, I'm heading back to Melbourne, but I thought I'd stop off here uh, at Lake Dalesford just to show you this beautiful lake. fairly popular place now but when I was young it wasn't quite so popular but it's always been this at Dalesford the township <clears throat> has always been a beautiful example of um, sort of uh, late um, 1800s boom time uh, Victorian architecture I just walked up there. Oh, I'm getting my 10,000 steps today. I'm taking a shortcut back to the, uh, to where I parked the car. And as usual, I think I'm lost. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this little foray into country Victoria. Uh, and if you have, if you could like and uh, subscribe, that would be wonderful. In less than two weeks, we'll be in Southeast Asia again. Thank you.